Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, humble members of the TSC family, as well as loyal friends of horror, tell me, how long has it been? Two, perhaps even three entire weeks ever since my last video. Certainly a long period of time, but do not worry, for I have finally returned. Mellow greetings, good day, and welcome back to Let's Play Outlast. Episode number four, together with your equally humble host known as the Shadow Cookie. <coughs> when we last left off, several both disturbingly gruesome and life threateningly dangerous scenes had unfolded themselves without any kind of mercy, without any hints of mercy, in front of our truth seeking eyes. Independent journalist Miles Subshaw. Camcorder in hand dared to challenge the criminal mysteries of this ancient structure unescorted. And who would have thought Mount Massive Asylum turned out to be more dilapidated, depressed, and unwelcoming than initially expected? The stench of rotten flesh fills the air, while spilled entrails, blood-written messages, and incomprehensible madness lie festering in every single derelict corridor. <sighs> It is not safe here, but escape has unfortunately become a personal liberty I can no longer call my own for the time being. That is, thanks to the assistance of Mr. Little Pig, as I decided to call him, who caught the snooping detective on the second floor and then proceeded to throw his sorry ass through a glass window down into the first. Uh, oh my. <clears throat> it was a harsh landing slash most painful of experiences without a doubt. Uh, well, I had my chance to run away and wasted it. The one-way door closed behind me and now I'll have to confront this nightmare for it has truly and officially begun. Uh. 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 <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright then, please grant me permission to recap the <coughs> most recent events. Where to start? Ah, uh, I know. Massacred bodies that have been torn to pieces everywhere. Staff members, doctors, scientists, even soldiers. Yes, the armed soldiers failed to survive and are fucking gone. Apparently, they were sent to this building because one of Murkoff Psychiatric System's illegal experiments got a little out of hand. The so-called variants, or whatever, escaped from their cells, caused a containment breach, and have been slaughtering their makers ever since. Needless to say that I am certainly the wrong man in the wrong goddamn place. Uh, Calm down. At least I seem to have an ally of sorts. An ally who appeared out of nowhere, um, called me an apostle of God, and then disappeared without a trace. Ah yes, and he also told me to stay alive. <laughs> right. Very trustworthy words from the priest of insanity itself. Uh, uh, sighing all over the place, I am doomed. <coughs> so, what exactly does my goal happen to be? Ah yes, access security control to unlock the main doors. Beautiful. I don't even want to think about the irony of this, how I am now trying to leave the asylum, even though all I wanted at the beginning was to get inside. My goodness, the innards 
have been torn from his body. And not only that... He's been decapitated as well. <sighs> they have all been decapitated, just like the bodies I discovered within the library on the first floor. Of course, there were more severed heads than bodies inside it, but nevertheless, the end result remains the same. Such violence. Look at all the blood. Man. Suppose only one well-known saying applies in this kind of gruesome situation. Those who are foolish enough to create monsters are destined to be destroyed by their own creations. Yes, indeed. You reap what you sow. Hmm. And these people definitely received what they had coming to them, even though I do not believe that every single murdered individual here served as a link, if you will, of Murkov's big criminal chain. <coughs> Some of these fellows no doubt merrily tried to earn a couple of bucks in exchange for attending to the mentally ill. <coughs> they carried little knowledge of the Asylum's illegal activities and paid the price for their bottomless ignorance. <sighs> Suddenly the variants attacked. These poor bastards never stood a chance. <sighs> And now they want me, because I am still breathing, because their lust for vengeance has not yet been satisfied. I'll be the next victim <laughs> if I continue to ponder like this, even though it happens to be my specialty, 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 I can't talk properly anymore. Oh, you are still here, ladies and gentlemen? Excellent. Time to to focus on my primary objective. Hmm. I wonder though, that strange priest. I'm just going to assume that he is a priest, mentioning God and all. Who was that guy? Seriously, I demand an explanation. Is he simply as insane as the rest? A former MSP employee? The mysterious whistleblower? Ah. <sighs> Who cares? I am no apostle. I am getting the hell out of here. Speaking of variants, though... Hmm... It appears that Mr. Little Pig decided not to follow me. Huh, how peculiar. Maybe he believes I died from the fall? Um, yeah, <laughs> totally, I am dead, so very dead. Oh, please continue believing that, good sir. Don't follow me, I'd appreciate it greatly. Hmm, now... Where could the security controls be at? Uh, proclaim the gospel. What does it mean? Have these people turned religious all of a sudden? Oh no, we are kind of circus freaks in a way. Should we believe in God? Maybe God is the only one who can save us. And because God wants us to, um, wants us to prove that we believe in him, we are going to slaughter everybody. Yeah, that is going to be my assumption for now. Hmm. Where to go, where to go, everything is as dark as the pitch black night. I can see some turned on monitors though. Huh. Is this not an exit? Oh, it might be an exit, it might be the front door, but it is locked. Uh, where are these controls? Oh. This is one dark corridor of ominous evil. I don't think you can even see the end of the corridor, ladies and gentlemen. Hell, I can't see it either. Um, camcoder, would you be willing to help me out? Thanks a bunch. 
three batteries remaining. Good, very good. Plus the one I inserted before we got thrown down. They should serve me for a while. Oh. Well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? I don't want to examine that corridor. I don't want to examine any of the corridors. I want to escape. What did I say earlier? The more I continue to ponder away, the greater the risk that I am going to die. <laughs> but I am Mr. TSC. I love to ponder. I love to stand in place. I can't abandon my habits. Oh, I can see the front gate. I don't think I can see my car, but still. The exit is so close, yet so far away at the same time. Ah, great. Now I have options. I can either choose the pitch black corridor behind me, or the slightly illuminated corridor in front of me. And before, all I had was the blood on the floor. Does that even make any sense? Hmm. Who did you used to be? A janitor? He must have died in agony. Did I walk over his body? I did just walk over his body, didn't I? Mr. Miles, don't you have any manners? Jesus, good sir, what's the matter with you? Oh my god! And three times a charm. I guess I'll have to face the darkness now as punishment for my sins. Oh, there is light. I appreciate the light, but at the same time I don't trust it. <sighs> Careful now. Okay, this is a dead end. Lots of furniture has once again been stacked up. To prevent anyone from leaving. I can do this. There's another dead body. And the door has been torn off its hinges. I can do this though. Yep. Hello? Anybody home? I don't think so. Hmm. Looks like this bastard tried to uh, maybe hide himself away. He tried to abuse this room as a safe haven, but then somebody broke down the door. Hmm, I can't really tell if he's been beheaded as well or not. There is something where his head should be, but it doesn't really look like a head. More like a, uh, well, the kind of opposite. Not a hat, H-E-A-D, but a hat, H-A-T. A hat that fell down when somebody stole his hat away. Hats everywhere. I want a, what do they call it? I want a top hat, a black one. That's probably the first thing. First, th 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 sounds so German. The first thing I shall do once I get out of here, I'm gonna purchase myself a top hat. It's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting and awesome. All for super budget, yeah. Come on now, I'll need to entertain myself somehow. I must talk gibberish for the sake of my sanity. Hmm, what did you drop, good sir? Oh, could it be? Another battery? I'll have that. Thank you. Hmm. A radio. Hello? Can anybody hear me? This is Captain TSC of the International Guard of Space Departments and Shenanigans. I demand escort. I demand somebody to escort me out of this hellhole. I can wait. No, I can't. Well, nothing decided to jump out of me. That is a pleasant surprise. Nothing decided to jump out of the fireplace. I've experienced it before. Never a nice thing to witness. To become a witness of. However you wish to say it. 
Oh, thank God. The first restroom that has been boarded up. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Moving on. You stay up there, Mr. Little Pig, if you know what's good for you. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. Now... To face the other corridor. Oh, the corridor that'll end my life. I am calling it now. Is there an end to this? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't even know whom to thank anymore. I've already thanked every single deity out there. It is a dead end. Uh, what day another restroom? And it isn't illuminated at all. Uh, but some... Blood. Some organic matter that somebody tried to flush down the toilet. Didn't work though. It came out again all over the floor. I am done with this corridor. Just allow me to leave, it is all I am asking. Please, I am begging you. Hmm. Oh great, I should probably start to count the dead bodies. Might be an interesting game to kill time. To kill dead air. Oh, speaking of counting dead bodies, why... Why don't you start the game by yourselves, ladies and gentlemen? Count the dead bodies. Feel free to do so. The one who gets the most accurate number shall receive a reward. Ah. A security guard. You, good sir, definitely accepted the wrong kind of job. Hmm. Another document, though. Maybe this can explain a thing or two about this asylum and its activities. Yoink! Let's see. There we go. A warrant for seizure. Alright. Hmm. <coughs> The Murkoff Corporation United States Office warrant for seizure case number yada da 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 in the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112. Um, how do you pronounce that word? Affidavits, I think. Affidavits or whatever having been made before the board of directors by Merck of Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. Huh, sounds like they are talking about the variants who got loose. We are satisfied that the, um, there it is again, affidavits? Affidavits? Whatever, and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance issuance of this warrant, you are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of, um, litigation? 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 against the Murkoff Corp. or its uh, subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I am not that well-spoken yet. I read plenty of words there which I do not know. I don't know what they mean. For example, um... Um, 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 subsidiaries, 
litigation, etc., etc. I am getting from this, however, that something went wrong. There was an accident and somebody else decided to pretty much take over the entire place. Murkov Hardline Security. Hmm. Could the Murkov Hardline Security Department, if you will, um, have been those soldiers who arrived? Huh. But they failed to contain the breach. And now we are facing a new apocalypse. Well, the apocalypse is still slumbering, of course, but what if the variants get out? I doubt they are something you couldn't dispose of with a tank or missile, but still, just imagine these criminally insane uh, mutations, if you want to call them that, stalking the neighborhood in the middle of the night. A sinister thought, to say the least. Uh, but not the truth I am searching for. Ah. Did I waste some battery life there? Because my um, battery is almost halfway dead again. Uh, don't worry about it, you still got more than enough. Hmm. I need to capture as much footage as possible. I need the evidence. Hmm. Is there a way to access these um, office rooms? Maybe. Huh. Isn't that the shaft I climbed out of? Could be. Not gonna bet my money on it though. Hmm. More office rooms, both to the left and right. As well as some kind of cage right here. Not necessarily cage, but um, fence. Something is definitely fenced off. Ah. The stairway, it seems. I guess these are the uh, kind of security measures you deploy to prevent um, inmates from escaping. Could be. Just my guess though. Not anyone else's. Ah. Light flickering inside that corridor. The gate has been torn off its hinges. Towards that corridor. Hinges, hinges, whatever. Hmm. And here we've got a wheelchair. A wheelchair with bloody footprints leading away from it as well as downstairs into the basement. Ah, beautiful. The basement, my favorite kind of place within any horror game. Oh, thank God, a map. <laughs> a map, yeah, right. A sign of some sort. There. Security room towards the right. Beautiful. Downstairs, electric room. Upstairs, library, recreation hall, cafeteria, and chapel. Oh, I definitely stumbled upon the library already. And I never wish to return to that fucking meat locker. Hmm. Hold on. Is it just me, or does this plant look a little bit like a person? I mean, those stumps at the right and left, like arm stumps. The top, like a head. Uh, I am, I am seeing things. I shall call it Johnny, though. Hello there, Johnny. Pleased to meet you. Hmm. I wish to access security control as soon as possible, but. What about... Oh, don't make so much noise. But what about the other areas? What the hell? Um... Oh dear. Looks like I am not alone. Within the... Bottom four. Oh, this is unexpected. A guy. A mostly naked guy. Half naked, if you will. Sitting inside another wheelchair. Twitching about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the irony. He is sitting right in front of the exit. Well? 
He could be a variant. He could also be somebody who got injured. But I don't care. I don't need to approach him. No. I won't. Have a good day, sir, Mr. Twitchy. I'll take my chances with the other corridor. Thank you very much. Your corridor, good sir, is the one filled with despair, death and no hope. My corridor is the one filled with light, um, sweet embraces of beautiful women and the security room. On second thoughts, I think the office rooms look a lot more inviting than those corridors. Wouldn't you say, ladies and gentlemen? But of course I am right. Ah. I need the security controls, I want to escape. But that fella looked angry. Oh, who are you? Could it be you, Mr. Little Pig? Oh no, 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 no. Could it have been another reporter or journalist who is trapped inside the walls of this asylum? Nah, probably a gore craving variant. And he's been busy all day long massacring people. I don't want to meet him, I don't wish to make his acquaintance. It doesn't need to happen. No, 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 no. Maybe some other time. Speaking of, we are almost out of time anyway, but I can already tell that this is going to be a long journey, ladies and gentlemen. Are you still with me? Are you feeling amazed that I managed to spend like half an hour inside one and the same room? That is Mr. TSC for you, ladies and gents. TSC Entertainment. Do you enjoy reading a good book? No? Then you best get the hell out of here. Everyone else can stay and enjoy the slow pace. But we still got, I'd say, maybe four more minutes. Enough time to... oh. Walk through here into... the office. What the hell is this? Ugh! Oh my! Well, he... he got off lucky. He still has his head. That's... That's a new sight. Maybe he committed suicide before they could kill him? Huh. I guess you didn't really have much time to choose. When they got out, it was either you or them. And by either you or them, I mean either you killing yourself or them killing you in an even more violent way. Closing this door shouldn't be a crime, though. Well, can't you close them in a quiet way? They'll know that you are here. Miles, you fool. Hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? The place is dead, so very dead, but the electricity is still running through it. Huh. Not energy efficient at all. Oh god. <sighs> That's it, I am starting it now. Starting to count. One... Two... Three... Come on, make it four. Make it four! There we go. Beautiful. Anything of interest? Well, what the fuck is that? Another plant. It is so dark in here I can barely make out anything except the screens. That looked like a person to me. Oh damn you, plant life. You are working together. You are allied with the variants. Hmm. Batteries? Something uh, glowing down there. Ah. Just the computer, never mind. Hmm. Oh goody, a large puddle of blood in front of this door. I'll stay away from it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nothing of interest whatso freaking ever. No batteries, no documents, no nothing. That's a disappointment. Uh, moving on. Oh god. I hate dark corners. They never spell out anything good. Hmm, looks like a small archive, a small document or box storage. Something going over there. Aha, another document. I'd say we'll read this and then call it a day, ladies and gents. Or should I read it next time? Depends on how long it is. Project Wallrider again. Patient status report for Chris Walker. Oh, that's a long one. I'll read that next time, ladies and gentlemen. Having said that, my very name has been the Shadow Cookie, aka Mr. TSC, and you have been watching Let's Play Outlast, episode number four. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave me a like, perhaps even subscribe if you desire to see more content like this in the future on my channel. Also, don't forget it is just a suggestion, never an obligation. I am also sorry that there there hasn't been any content for a long time, but certain inconveniences got in the way. Doesn't matter though, for now I am back, and I hope that you still enjoy my slow pace. If you don't, well, you can always watch something else, can't you? And I've got a bad feeling about this doorway, because I just realized something. To peek, hold Q or E. Isn't this the corridor I saw from the other side of that barrier? <gasps> Until next time! And fuck this corridor!